Hello everyone, I'm Sil and this is Slow Easy English. If you've ever been to the United States or if you've watched Hollywood movies, then maybe you noticed that people in the United States don't use um, kilograms and kilometers and uh, liters to measure things they use a different system. Um, grams and kilograms and meters and kilometers and liters, those words and those units of measure are from the metric system. In the United States, people use the imperial system to measure things. And, uh, yeah, and, and nothing. So that's what they use the imperial system. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about weight and how to make quick conversions in your head just by remembering a few uh, important numbers. The first thing that you need to remember and you need to burn it onto your brain is that one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So when you go to the United States and you hear people using the word pound, now you have an idea of how much that is. 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. Now, before I continue, notice one thing here, that here, kg, everybody knows that kg means kilogram. And that's easy to remember because kg. So, no problem there. However, for the word pound, the abbreviation is LB. It's not P and it's not PD, it's LB. So um, you should know that because uh, it's not easy to imagine that, right? Um, LB actually comes from the Latin word Libra which was an old, old, back in Roman days, Roman times, was an old unit of measure uh, for weight. So, um, this abbreviation uh, is still being used today. So, um, so LB means pounds, and there are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. Okay, remember that. Now, you should also know, because if you go to the United States, people use the word pound, but they also use the word ounce. And there are 16 ounces in one pound. Okay, so if you go to a restaurant and you order an, an eight ounce steak, then that is half a pound. And of course, there are 2.2 pounds in a kilogram, so, that means, well, this is about half, right? Like, you know, one pound is about half a kilogram. So an eight ounce steak would be approximately a quarter of a kilogram, about 250 grams. It's not exact, but it's about there. Okay, um, and so what is an ounce? You, uh, are familiar with grams, so remember this, one ounce is 28 grams. So we have 28 grams in an ounce, 16 ounces in a pound, and 2.2 pounds in a kilogram. These are important numbers and you should try to remember them. Uh, the next one on the list is ton. Now here we have to be careful because there are two types of tons. If you live in a metric country, then you are probably already familiar with a metric ton, which is a thousand kilograms. However, well, oh, I'm sorry, a metric ton is a thousand kilograms, which according to this means that in one metric ton, there are 2,200 pounds, but that's a metric ton, okay? However, in the United States, when they talk about tons, they usually mean 2,000 pounds. 
So as you can see, the same word is being used, but they have different meanings. In the U.S., a ton means 2,000 pounds. Outside of the U.S., a ton is usually 2,200 pounds. So there's about a 10% difference there. Okay, so now that you have remembered all of these numbers and conversions, let's, uh, let's see how quickly you can convert from pounds to kilograms or kilograms to pounds. So if I ask you, uh, okay, how many pounds is 50 kilograms? That's easy, right? How many pounds is 50 kilograms? Well, 50 kilograms times 2.2 is what? Hmm, 2.2. I don't know. I can, I can say 50 times 2 is 100, but 2.2, that's a little bit more complicated. So here's an easy trick for you. Remember that kilograms times 2, so in my question, 50, 50 kilograms times 2, which is 100, and then add 10%. So 100, what's 10% of 100? That's easy. Just cut off the last zero or the last digit and you have 10. So 10% of 100 is 10. So 50 times 2 is 100 plus 10%, which is 10, equals 110 pounds. So that's easy. It's, I, I asked you an easy question, 50 kilograms. But what if I asked you how many pounds is 147 kilograms? Can you do that one quickly? Okay, 147 kilograms, right? So 147 times 2 is, that's pretty easy, right? It's 294, okay? And then what's 10% of 294? Well, it's 29. It's actually 29.4, but let's just call it 29. So 294 plus 29, and what is this? Do you know? 294 plus 29 is 323. Is that right? Yes, I believe it is. Um, so 323 pounds in 147 kilograms. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty simple if you remember times 2 plus 10%. Of course, you can also do the reverse of this. So um, if you want to take, for example, uh, well, why don't we do it with this, okay? 323 pounds minus 10%, so 323 minus 32, right? So 323 minus 32 equals uh, 291, okay? And divide 291 by 2, you'll have 145. My marker's not working here. 145. Anyway. Um, so you can see this, right? So 323, which is what we started, this is pounds. If I want to convert to kilograms, I subtract 10%, which is 32, and that's 291. Then I divide, I didn't write this down, hang on, okay. I divide 291 by 2, divided by 2, Stupid marker. Okay, 291 divided by 2 is 145, actually 0.5, right? Okay, so 323 minus 10%, which is 32, equals 291. Take 291, divide by 2, equals 145.5.
Now, 145.5 is not 147, but it's very, very close. And it's probably good enough for your calculation off the top of your head. So this is a quick and easy way to make a calculation to convert kilograms to pounds and pounds to kilograms when you need it and maybe you don't have uh, a converter uh, in your hands, maybe at like a smartphone or something. So if you remember how to do this, then you can go to the United States or watch Hollywood movies and understand a little bit better what they're talking about. So try to remember that and do your best. Tons, you, know, you don't use tons every day, so you don't need to worry about tons so much right now. Uh, try to remember that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds and one pound has 16 ounces and one ounce has 28 grams. Now, you can also do the same thing with grams. In one ounce, there's 28 grams, and if you want to know, for example, how many ounces are there, sorry, how many, yeah, well, how many grams are there in five ounces? Five times 28, oh, that's, that's the answer is actually 140, but that's kind of a complicated it's, it's, it's a complicated calculation to do in your head for many people. Uh, me too, actually, I had to stop and think about it. Um, I can do some of these calculations a little more quickly because I do them so often, but uh, I'm sure that uh, there's a lot of people who do them much faster than I do, and sometimes I get confused. So, an easier way to do this would be if we think about one ounce as 30 grams. That's good enough. Good enough for me, anyway. So, if you say, how many grams are there in five ounces? Ah, five times 30, that's an easy calculation, 150. It's not accurate, it's not exact, but it's usually good enough for most things, okay? So, uh, remember, you know, if 28 grams, um, if you can remember that, great, but it might be easier to remember 30 grams, and it would also be easier to do calculations if you remember 30 grams per ounce. So, um, one more question before I finish. If I say, okay, um, there are 16 ounces in one pound, and there are 28 grams in one ounce, how many grams are there in one pound? So, 28 times 16. I can't calculate that off the top of my head. I need some time to think about that. So, if we just say 16 times 30, that's a little easier, right? Um, so that would be what, uh, 300, 480, okay? So if I say 16 times 30, it's 480 grams. Now, the real answer, the actual answer is 454 grams in one pound. My quick off the top of my head calculation at 30 grams was uh, 480. So I was off by 26 grams. Um, is that enough to worry about? Well, that's up to you to decide. And uh, if you prefer to be 100% accurate, then use 28. But, uh, you know, if I'm off by a couple of percentage points, that's okay with me most of the time. If you're cooking and using a recipe, you should, of course, try to be accurate because sometimes uh, being off by even just a little, especially if you're baking, uh, can make a big difference to the result. So, if you're baking, try to be very accurate. If you're not baking, 
you probably don't need to be accurate. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Uh, try to remember these numbers and try to remember this quick calculation uh, and you will enjoy your time in the United States much more. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.